Hey guys. So, for today's video, I'm going to guide you on how to add a character mod without replacing any superstar in the game by using the meta tool. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and click the bell notification button so you don't have to miss any videos. First, download the meta tool made by Greeks. The link is in the description. After downloading it, extract it anywhere, or if you like, on your desktop to have easier access. For this one, we will add a superstar to the game, which is my Sarah Logan 2K20 mod. The download link is in the description. Right after downloading, you'll see these two folders. This mods folder should be extracted to your WWE 2K22 main directory. And this meta ch files folder should be extracted to your desktop, to have easier access. To set up meta for the first time, go to your Steam's user data and delete these two files. If you have previously configured meta, please disregard this step. Open Cake Tools, navigate to your 2K22 main directory, and select Baked File OO. Click once on this Characters and extract this one to your Characters folder. Browse and click once on this roster, then extract these two files to your roster folder. If you don't see one, create a new folder for it. After that, open Meta. You'll see this pop-up. Browse and select your Mods folder. After that, you'll encounter this pop-up. For me, no. Select yes in this pop-up, this will overwrite the ones we've extracted previously. Select yes in this pop-up. Don't close the meta tool during this one. Now, open cake tools and bake the mods folder, depending on how many mods you have on it. And now we're headed to WWE 2K22. Now that we're on the main screen, I prefer the windowed type so that I can easily access the meta tool and also test my mods. Go to the Meta tool, select Utility, and click Unlock Everything. This will unlock Showcase Characters. Go to Option, select Roster, Edit Superstars, select a kid, and edit his attributes so that we have to make a save. Press start on your controller to make a save. Exit 2K22. Go to Meta. Click File, Hover to Open, Hover to Character, and click Roster Table. Double click the Roster folder and open this file. As you can see on the left screen of Meta, there are empty slots, superstar information, and some others. Open the meta ch files that we previously extracted. These files are the ones that we needed to add or inject the Sarah Logan mod into the game. And do you notice the number 121? That's the empty slot that I've assigned to her. Head to the tool, find empty slot 121. Right click on it, hover over importing, then click import. Find the meta ch files that were extracted to your desktop. Select this file, and click Open. Now you'll encounter this pop-up, click OK. Because I didn't assign her an alternate attire, simply click No in this pop-up. Click OK. Click once on this slot, go to File, Open, Hover over Character, and click Asset Map. Go to your 2K22 directory. Double-click the Mods folder. Double-click Characters. Select this file, and click Open. Click Import and find the meta files on your desktop. Select and open this file. Click OK. Hit Save. Close this tab. Click Yes. Now that we're done with the asset map, go to File, hover over Open, and select Renders. Select this file, and click Open. Click Import and find the meta files on your desktop. Select and open this file. Click OK. Hit save. Close this tab. Don't close this tool yet. 
Now open cake tools. Bake a folder, and wait for it to finish. Make sure this is still selected. Now head to WWE 2K22. Once on the main screen, go to the Meta tool and select Prime Memory. Wait for a second, click Inject Memory. Select the Meta file that we're working on, and click Open. Once you see this, it means the mod has been successfully injected into the game. Now head to Options, select Roster, Edit Superstars, and select a kid. Just like what we did earlier, we need to make a save. Now, once it's done, find our Sarah Logan mod on the list. And by the way, if you don't like the high attributes in any upcoming mods of mine, for which I'm so sorry because I don't know what attributes to give them, simply download a Ka from Community Creations and copy its movesets. This will also copy the attributes of the Ka. Let's test it out. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. And if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button for future updates. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.